Hello everyone, happy good morning Tuesday to you all and welcome to Gage Car Reviews and today I'm reviewing this 2013 Nissan Rogue SV all-wheel drive. This is a different color. It is in like, um, I don't know what color it is, probably like purple or lavender or brown, I'm not sure. Alright, in the back, Rogue Nissan SV all-wheel drive. In the side again. And the front. Get the grill, the Nissan headlights. Here's the side. Now let's take a look inside. This vehicle's manufactured on October of 2012. Uh, this vehicle has 97,534 miles in there, almost to 100,000. Turn the steering wheel. Uh, there we go. Here's the Nissan steering wheel. You also get the controls for the radio. And phone and voice recognition controls on the left, cruise controls on the right, Nissan logo on there. You also got the standard Nissan radio with no navigation, just AM, FM, CM, Sirius XM, CD, auxiliary, E and iPod, all that stuff. You got the air vents up top, climate controls, power outlet, passenger airbag, automatic transmission. The sport mode, don't know what the buttons is, speedometer, ometer, fuel and temperature, this vehicle has 97,534 miles, like I said, here's the front seat and the back seat, you also got the lights, sunglasses storage, mirror, um, windshield wipers on the right, um, turn signals and lights on the left, headlight controls, Mirror controls, all-wheel drive button, uh, drift mode, and the windows control, and the lock, and no window control, there. You also got the speaker up there. Alright, so this is my view of this 2013 Nissan Rogue SV all-wheel drive. I'm going to have to study the color of this model. I believe it might be um, dark lavender or dark purple. I'm not sure. I'm going to study that soon. So, anyways, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.